people. This palace matter don't turn competition. Yes, in fact, it don't turn into a very big battle, not just a competition as we speak. Because right now, waiting the take happen na a matter of life and death. Yes, because these women choosing that they will not give up at any point, they will keep on fighting. They don't categorically prove that no matter what happens, these women will continue with whatsoever it is them few say them will do. <laughs> and this one, this one, oh, hmm, my people, it no go end well. Because sending people to Olo in Naomi's church is one of the things these women should not even have thought of. Yes, but now waiting them choose, say them go do be that. And the end of these things, <clears throat> the end of it always seem like Olori Naomi is wicked, Naomi is harsh, Naomi is this, Naomi is that. Naomi has been nothing. Naomi has just been herself over the years. But why, what do people keep doing? They keep dragging her. We have heard how repeatedly, repeatedly, uh, Miriam and now uh, Miriam and Toby Phillips have stormed Naomi's church simply because what they wanted to say something and they could not say it over the phone. They could not say it uh, to any in any other place that they felt it could be said. They chose to go to her church. That is a secret place of the Most High, and that is where that woman communes with the Lord. But that is a place that has become a place of competition lately for this woman. So sending people to go plant um, juju or whatsoever they call it charm in Olui Naomi's church is so so childish of them because Naomi brought people to come you know warriors to come pray in the palace and destroy whatsoever charm it is that is existing in the palace and then all of a sudden they have decided to go physical on attacking her right in Akure. My people know this matter, we might call it childish, but it is no longer childish to this woman. It's no longer a child's play to this woman again. Because to them, they are doing every single thing humanly possible to achieve whatsoever it is they want. To them, this is a do or die affair to them. To, to them, this is this is a battle they ought to win. And you know, in a battlefield, it, it doesn't matter how you won. The the thing is you won. That's just it. And people will come out to celebrate with you. There will be victory. There will be every single thing. They are just concerned with the fact that, yes, I won. So these women are doing every single thing humanly possible to make sure that they discredit Naomi. They make her look so inferior, so incapable. Every single thing. And at the end of the day, what is the victory? There has been no victory. All these years of doing all of these things, there have been no victory. There is nothing that has that has made it genuine for them because they are not living it right so now they have sent people to go plant um, um or keep charm <laughs> my people this is no longer a joke if naomi is still seeing this as a joke then with the online in-laws we are not seeing this as a joke again because the level to which these women are taking actions on this matter it is no child's play again you know when pastor tibetan told and uh, tibetan told oliri naomi that you might look this as a play but to these women it is no play -o. they are very very serious about what they are doing and no matter what you do they will keep on doing it until they achieve that which they want to do those women achieved one peak of their plan when Naomi had to leave the palace in December 2020. They achieve a step of their plan. And as it continues, subsequently as it continues, you will get to know that all of these things happen as time progresses. Yes, that's how they happen. As time progresses. And everything, everything, everything just keep on spreading out. Every single thing just keep on happening. And every day and night, you will keep to understand that one thing or the other is happening. One thing or the other is sporting out. These women are doing this, they are doing that. And in the midst of doing these things, they are dragging Naomi with them. No, what is it with going to go plant a charm in Naomi's church now? What are they hoping to achieve? What is going to be the game? But at the end of the day, them, that's a very, very good strategy they are taking to achieve all of this things when we speak about how ignorant this woman is uh, these women are to the work of god you will think it's a joke but now they are proving their ignorance in 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 full folds they're proving their ignorance all written all over them because at the end of the day what exactly are you trying to prove what exactly are you trying to show to go plant a charm what of all the charms you had in the palace you know when miriam came out to deny to make it look like she she doesn't have any single thing to do with all of these things they were just 
they were just being planted they were just coming up they were just doing this it should not be like for real babe see every single thing happening is just a validation of what these women have been doing and no matter how bad it goes no matter how sour these things goes they are a proof of what these women are capable of so at the end of the day you'll be wondering that uh, what exactly is happening are these women really really serious they are serious my people they are serious you see that moment toby phillips entered the palace to come question the elders who conceived the idea of giving olori naomi a new title and from that point you would know that toby was not joking even if it seemed like toby was joking it was no joke to that woman that woman was serious and she came into the palace ready to fight yes it is because it, a palace is not a place where she can just come in and fight and then go scotry like that no it is not that's what the only reason that hindered toby from doing whatsoever it is that she felt she had come into the palace to do but my people at this point and this the way this matter is right now it has categorically proven that these women are not ready to stop at any point at all no matter what it is no matter what it is, we say that there is a limit to everything. There is a point in which you yourself, you will get and, you know, you will say it is time to stop. Yes. At some point, you would say that ah, it is time to stop. Oh, we don't overdo this thing. But it is not like that with this woman. It is not like that with the wives they only legally go married to. So at most times, we begin to wonder where they only went wrong in choosing to have a polygamous home. Now, you might be wondering, why did he go ahead to marry all of these wives? He married them simply because... He is a king and he has the right to marry as many wives as he can. And then aside being a king and having the right to marry as many wives as he as he wants, it is also a thing that what he needs a heir apparent to the throne. And he ought to be sure that he has not just one, not just two. He has a heir to the throne like a sure one so all that he was doing was to, to to also put him in the place that when the time comes let it not be like he is up and down looking for someone you know to come up and all of those things that is what the only was doing and you know they when the elders told him go ahead and get married to more wives we want to we want to see children running around in the compound and all of those things but the only did not accept yet it has not been a thing enough for this woman the only came out to say he will not take wives again but yet it has not been enough so my people as this whole matter can't be right now no hmm and so it take be oh, these women all oh, they are fighting because in a battle someone has to win at the end of the day we don't know who will win yes yeah, seriously we don't know who will win but whosoever wins this <laughs> we pray the person wins right yes because this matter it don't pass the level where we don't they look at all this why